Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bone show. The Rock and Review is so pleased to bring a singer, songwriter, multi-instrumentalist, and also producer, John Salloway. John, thanks for joining the show. Hey, brother. Thanks for having me, man. It's great to be with you. You know, I, I always stay uh, caught up with you, John, and I've seen you play around town and everything like that here in Nashville. But you got a brand new album that came out this past April, Salvation. And, uh, you know, listening to it, I, I really enjoy all the tracks. And you certainly give a nod to your influences. I think my personal favorite on there, though, is Letting Go. Oh, thank you. That is actually my favorite, too. Uh, yeah, and I've, I've been getting a lot of great feedback on that one. Um, just It's just a, a great heartfelt message that they put out there, and I'm really proud of it. Well, you know, the whole album, you know, you've uh, certainly seen a progression, you know, in your albums over the years from your first release through, uh, through this new one with Salvation. But I got to bring up, John, you got a few uh, heavy hitters coming in, uh, you know, on this album from the Foo Fighters, from Smashing Pumpkins. Let's talk about this. How did you get yeah. all these great artists to come in and work on your album with you? Oh, it's just, that was such a blessing. Um, well, they've been friends of mine for a few years, and it's the that's where the shutdown last year created an opportunity because all these great artists were not on tour. So I said, I just reached out and like, well, hey, I know you're doing the same thing I am. We're just kind of hanging out and you know writing and recording and just uh, trying to figure out what to do next. And I said, um, would you guys like to uh, play on my new record? And they all said, sure, we'd love to. And it was just a nice thing to get to do that we did it all remotely so technology was a huge blessing you know like everyone they recorded at their studios and i recorded at my studio and then we sent tracks back and forth and um, mixed it and mixed it afterwards and uh, it was really a blessing to be able to do that well i thank goodness with the technology but i mean when you have people like you know from cage the elephant and everything else it's like going i'm i'm like wow john really pulled in pulled in some big players this last year during the pandemic uh you know, like you said, since you were able to use technology and make this happen, but I can tell you from listening to the album, you really can't tell any of it was done remotely. It sounds like any album you would hear out of just one studio here in Nashville. Wonderful, thank you. That was definitely the goal. I'm glad to hear that. Um, I did most of the tracks at my own studio where I'm at right now. Um, and uh, I did like the drums, bass, guitars, and piano, mostly myself, and then I would ask like really great instrumentalists to play on top of that, you know, so they would do the solos and the icings on the cake, like the organ and uh, lead guitar and stuff like that. So it was a really nice collaboration. I had a great time doing that. Well, you know, and, and uh, you know, you play all over town and, and all around the country and even back in your native Florida, you know, where you're originally from, uh, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I know starting out as a, a percussionist as a drummer as I first knew you when you got here to Nashville but I right. found it interesting that your dad was a drummer and so he kind, of, he kind of taught you initially and got you into the world of it. He sure did my, my parents are rock and roll parents and they uh I'm very blessed for that they took us to some great shows growing up I got to see Paul McCartney and the Stones Crosby Stills and Nash and Young and all these great acts when I was a kid thanks to my parents and and then they raised us on great music and then my dad uh had a great old Ludwig drum set from 1974, and uh, mm -hmm. I just I just took to it so fast, and he he helped me along the way for sure, and it was it was really great to have that opportunity. You know, as as a songwriter, singer, and a producer yourself, <laughs> I mean, how did you make that evolution then into piano and guitar? Because I know now you uh, predominantly write your uh, original songs and do your co-writes on guitar. Correct. Correct. Uh, yeah, I played, started drums when I was 10, and I think around 15 or 16 is when I really wanted to try songwriting because uh, I was listening a lot, of course, and to a lot of great artists, and I was like, man, I really want to figure out how to do that. I feel like, I still feel like songwriting is magic, you know? I feel like mm -hmm. those songs are in the atmosphere, and some of us, we just can channel them down from, from the universe and bring them to life, and uh, so I've always thought it was a magical thing, and that's why I'm like, well, I, if I'm going to write songs, I've got to learn how to play guitar, so... That's when I picked up the guitar and then moved on to piano after that. You know, and it's it's funny too now, John, because when you do a lot of your shows, you know, on the road and everything, and, and I'm sure you're going to get back to a lot of touring this year, but you're like a one-man band. And I'm listening to this new album and I'm going, I don't know how he's going to pull all this off as a one-man band because you can certainly hear your influences from the Beatles and, and a lot of the other great bands that you grew up with. But also, you know, under the Americana label, 
I heard one or two songs in here that kind of sound country. Yeah, yeah, I, I dabble in country. <laughs> and uh, I, I respect the art and I respect the genre very much. Um, rock and Americana and blues are more my wheelhouse, but every now and then I can stumble upon a nice little country hook. And, uh, and I do write, I write with Craig Wilson. We pitch country stuff to other people as well. And um, so I do, I have my one man band show where I use looping and effects and kind of make it sound like a bunch of instruments are playing at once. And then I do have two bands. I've got the Stones River Saints here with me in Nashville. And then I have a band that called the Regulators down in Florida. So when I go down there, so I have two different bands I can do shows with as well. <laughs> you know, it, it's right. so funny keeping up with you on social media, you stay so busy, but I wanted to ask you this, you know, after listening to the whole album, John, you know, and, and certainly, you know, the title Salvation, and I like the cover and everything as well. You know, what are you hoping, hoping that, that listeners of this album and, uh, and when they, people come out and see you at live performances, what are you hoping they'll take away from Salvation? Thanks, man. That's a great question. Um, <clears throat> my goal is to always to uplift people and inspire them. Um, we're all going through something. Every human being has gone through something. A lot of us are going through something right now. We all have traumas we've dealt with. Um, and I think music is the thing that can really heal people and bring us together and make us feel better. It, even if it's just for one night, that's an amazing opportunity to have that blessing, to be able to do that. And so that's my goal. I always want to make people feel good. I want to make them laugh. I want to make them feel happy and feel uplifted. And uh, Salvation, the whole album became kind of a concept album about that because it was uh, after all the stuff we had to go through, we had to weather the storm, you know, go through all that stuff last year. And then uh, it's like the end of one chapter and then start of a new chapter with this whole new beginning that we have now, which uh, there's a lot of hope and optimism in the air. People are feeling it. People are excited about living life again and getting out and being with people and seeing live music and it's a very exciting time. So that's kind of what the album became, this uh, kind of documenting the end of one chapter and the start of something new, hopefully with optimism and hope. Well, I think your, your positive message through your lyrics, I know that you wrote or co-wrote every song on this album, but I think it really comes through the, the lyrics and the songs and they're, they're uplifting and positive and, and certainly all of your shows, you always take it on the way. I've got to ask you though, you know, uh, and with your gigs here, I, I consider you a Nashville native. You've been here so long um, to where you've shared Thank the you. stage with like Peter Frampton and some of these other big artists. What has that been like? Oh, man, I'm still I'm a fan, first and foremost. You know, I'm a music fan and I love all these artists and to get to meet these artists and actually play a show with them. It's just the greatest blessing ever. Um, uh, I got, the, you know, Peter Frampton was an amazing guy. He is an amazing guy and he. He actually complimented me on my drumming and singing and I was just blown away by that. I'm like, how can a legend actually think I'm good? You know, the huge confidence booster. Well, you know, and, and speaking of uh, high praise, you know, mm -hmm. Rolling Stone and No Depression have also praised your past albums. And I know to me, Salvation is probably, you know, one of the, the best albums you put out so far. And so it has Thank to you. feel good, you know, coming out with that. And, and in your spare time, which I don't think you have any, you're also <laughs> helping other artists and producing other artists in and around Nashville too, right? Correct, yeah, I have a home studio and um, I love being able to help other artists. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times musicians and artists don't have a lot of money to spend. And, you know, I've worked, I've invested in my studio for 20 years now. So I've gotten to a good place to where I can, I can help them out and um, get them a great, great product for, for their budget. and. Uh, if it's some, if somebody I like, I'll work with them and I'll do anything I can for them, you know? And I, I feel blessed to be able to do that. And I think it's now, didn't good, you just launch a, like, a music uh, project foundation production or something? Didn't you just come out with something new as well that you're heading up? Uh, yeah, I started a new corporation called Music First Productions Incorporated. And that's basically the, the blanket company for everything that I do. I'm also a booking agent. I do some bookings at Hot Springs and some other venues. and. Uh, it's basically the blanket organization that uh, houses everything that I do, my studio, my booking, my bands, you know, my writing. So. So, so, so just when you think being a multi-instrumentalist isn't enough, you need to have an umbrella <laughs> for everything, right, John? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I feel, yeah, I feel blessed, man. It's always been my goal to learn as much as I can about the music business. And uh, I went to MTSU. I got my degree in recording industry music business. And Mm -hmm. um, so I've just always wanted to learn what it takes to do everything. And I've got a pretty good understanding of it now. Well, speaking of which, you know, you've been a house band, a house musician uh, here and around Nashville. 
And I heard you've got a cool gig at the city winery now <clears throat> that you're doing every Sunday. So if somebody wants yeah. to come out, you know, and, and maybe, you know, in between playing Beatles songs, you mix in a few of your own originals in here. I mean, we're going to. My band wants to do that. So I'm very excited about that. We're going to do some of my, my stuff eventually at the Beatles brunch at City Winery. And um, it's really amazing. City Winery did a great job of being one of the first venues to open up and do safe shows as far back as last uh, late summer last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, since I was one of the artists willing to work and willing to work with them, they've returned the favor tenfold. So now they've given me opportunities like that. You know, so now I get the monthly Beatles brunch there and they let me do my album release there, which was such a blessing, you know, amazing. We got to do that. So, so thankful. Well, I tell you what, I will definitely be coming to the Sunday brunch because I, I love that venue here in Nashville and uh, yeah. any venues that support live music such as yourself, I'm always a fan of, but uh, congratulations Thank on the you. new album Salvation. I want to make sure our viewers know, you know, where they can go. Obviously it's available on all streaming platforms, but uh, but I want to make sure they can follow you, get the music from you personally. I know you got CDs. And so where do they need to go, John? Thank you, brother. Uh, it's johnsalloway.com. That's S-A-L-A-W-A-Y. Uh, if people forget my name, uh, I always mention the song Come Sail Away by Styx because <laughs> when I was a kid, I thought they were saying John Salloway, John Salloway, John Salloway and me. And my dad actually let me believe it. He's like, yeah, I wrote them a letter. I said, please write a song for my son. And I was like, what? It just blew my mind when I was so young. And uh, so that stuck with me. So I tell people that to, rem to remember my name is johnsalloway.com and uh, Facebook at, at John Salloway Music. Well, you know, I always enjoy uh, following you on all social media platforms and everything you're doing, but what a Likewise. great album. I can't wait to see more singles roll out, maybe some videos and obviously yes. tours this year. Yes, I have two more videos coming out. Um, I did them at Studio Nashville, which was really cool. And then uh, Brian Rogers did one of them for me. And um, they should be coming out pretty soon. My uh, my publicists are looking at uh, talking to some people about having them be a premiere in certain places. So looking at doing that first. And if, they, and if that doesn't happen, I'll just release them in about a week or two. So I'm excited to put them out, though. And actually, I did make a video for Letting Go is the Hardest Part, the song that you like. So. Awesome. Exactly. Well, I'll tell you what, yeah. man, dude, all the songs are great. And, uh, congratulations once again on your brand new album that released this past April, Salvation. John Salloway, thank you so much for coming on the Rock uh, Review. Thank you, brother. Thank, thank you so you, much. Uh, I'll, I'll be catching you at City Winery. I can't wait, brother. Thank you so much for having me on the show, man. I really appreciate this. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show.